Hello, long time no see. Welcome back to my vlog, Gingerella, and welcome to any newcomers. I've been away for a little while. There's a few different reasons for that. The main one is I've just had so much going on. Um, I'm in the process of looking to buy a house at the moment, which is taking up a bit of time. Work's been incredibly busy, and I've also got a bit of travel and stuff coming up. And I also felt a little bit vlogged out. When I was setting everything up to start recording, I realised how much I missed it. I probably won't feel like that when I come to have to edit the video, but and upload it and wait for my really slow internet to upload it. But at the moment, I'm really excited to make a video for you again. So this video is my KB pattern swap reveal. Sean of Kittenish Behaviour set up a pattern swap a little while ago now and each vlogger was paired up with another vlogger and they had to select a pattern for that vlogger to sew and also provide some samples. I got Gabby of Gabadashery so I was really excited although a bit nervous um, of what to choose for her. Her style is amazing so I did want to do her style justice but I'm going to talk about what she chose for me and what I've sewn subsequently. So she sent me a lovely little package which included this little card and an envelope that um, she'd drawn some confetti on. In the package she also included a copy of her album Gabby Young and Other Animals which is amazing and I listened to that when I'm sewing. It has pride of place here um, where my cottons are. So the pattern that she chose for me was Grainline Studio Alder. So this is a shirt dress. It's really very popular. It's not a pattern I would have chosen for myself. I tend to go for patterns that are nipped in at the waist to emphasise that area and detract from any big bum situation. So I was really excited but still nervous at the same time about whether this pattern was going to suit me. And I have to say I love it. I haven't looked back. I like it so much in fact that I've sewn another one. I do need to make some adjustments to this one um, which I'll talk about in a second. I'm addicted to sewing shirts and shirt dresses at the moment. I think I've sewn three or four now and I think part of the reason is because my machine does buttonholes like that and also does buttons. She'd chosen a few different swatches for me. She'd chosen some chambray with, with little hearts on, which actually was some fabric that I'd already used for my Colette Rue dress. So she made the right choice, because um, it, is, it is a fabric I would have chosen. But I didn't choose it. I wanted to use fabric I hadn't used before. She also chose um, some navy cotton that had little swallows on. Again, I've, I do have um, a deer and doe belladone in a grey chambray with little white swallows on. So again, spot on with the, the, the fabric choices. And the last thing that she chose for me was a floral brush cotton, which is the fabric that I went for. So if you haven't noticed already, I'm wearing my um, Grain Known Studio Alder shirt dress in this floral green and lilac and also some grey floral print. Gabby had gone through sort of my blog and my vlog and, and my Instagram and looked at the sort of things that I had and she said well you don't really have many florals and she's right I don't have that many florals anymore. To begin with I, d I was drawn to that when I first started sewing but then I, I moved away from it a little bit so I chose this one. So I'm going to get up now and, and show you a little bit of the dress. So in terms of sizing, I made a size 6 all the way around. I think the sizing actually is pretty good. It's quite roomy in the hip area, but actually I quite like that. And the waist, I'm fine with that as well. Um, as I said, I was nervous that it was going to be not the right shape for me, because I'm used to things being small here, but actually this style I do quite like. I was really surprised. It does sometimes catch on my backside, as you can see, but not really a big deal. And then the other thing that I do a lot is wear it with about. So if I do want that little nipped in look and to create a waist then it's really really simple and easy to do. So yeah, massive massive fan. The fabric and the pattern are both from Fabric Godmother and just want to acknowledge the sponsorship there actually from from Josie. So uh, what I really like about it is the dipped hem. I really like that. It's nice and relaxed. 
and actually you get a little bit of shortness but actually it's not too short. Yeah, it has got two pockets here at the top but you can't really see them because they're hidden amongst the floral. You can see them a little bit more on this version. The other thing that you also can't see with this one is the placement of the darts. They're, they're quite a little bit lower. I don't know, some of it is the relaxed fit style but I think some of it is really quite low. The, the bust dart on this one is here. Um, and it comes out roughly there um, and I would say probably it needs to be a little bit higher. Buttons, I used some that I had in my stash, just little gold, gold little ones. I'll come a little bit closer, see if, see if that will show you. Don't look at my pockets because actually this one's falling off because I didn't, I obviously didn't go backwards and forwards properly there so that one's falling off so I need to do that again. I followed the, the Grain Line Studio instructions to the letter now I'd sewn a shirt yoke before and I'd used the burrito method but I thought I'll, I'll do it the way the instructions say. I think I probably could have used the burrito method without but I followed the instructions and actually I, I found out later that on the Grain Line Studio blog she talks about how to use the burrito method on the yoke. I think probably it's not in the instructions just because drawing it and creating a visual, visual representation of it without actual pictures is really really hard to do so yeah I understand why they didn't put that in the instructions and actually it was on the blog. With the second one that I made I did use the burrito method and it, it's just easier, quicker, better finish, everything's enclosed and encased and it's, it's great. So I shall pop a link to the description of the burrito method for the Alder shirt dress. So I actually did view A which is ungathered so it's completely loose as you've seen. I did consider doing the other one but I thought I, if I do want it to come in a little bit then I can just use a belt. I talked about the fit on this one being pretty much spot on. I do think I could have gotten away with bringing it in a little bit at the hips but actually this fabric falls and drapes really nicely and the fabric is amazing. Brushed cotton, I mean is there a time where you don't want to sew something in brushed cotton? It's just so soft, so nice against your body. I'm not just saying I love it when I don't. I think you guys know by now I wouldn't do that. I really do love it. And I certainly would not make a second one and already be thinking about making a third one if I didn't love it. The one thing I do want to do is a concealed button placket. And I actually saw just today, she might not have posted it today, but I did see it today, that Heather Lou of Closet Case Patterns has posted a tutorial for creating covered button placket for the Cali shirt dress pattern. And actually, I think I really want to sew the Cali shirt dress. I mean, I've just sewn two of these, the McCall 6696 shirt dress, if you've seen my Instagram. I've just made another Melly Low shirt. I think, I think I might be addicted to shirt dresses. I think I might have a problem. Yeah, I think I want to make the Cali shirt dress, but anyway, let's not talk about that. So the other thing that I should mention is the Sew Together for Summer challenge that's happening which is the brainchild of a few bloggers and Instagrammers all about creating and sharing your shirt dresses. So the Alda is a perfect shirt dress for that as is the McCall 6696, the Cali shirt dress, loads of options. I really want to take part and I think the deadline is mid-June so I now just need to choose a shirt dress to put in but you know I'll probably sew another six between now and then so <laughs> yeah I really am. Right okay I'm done. I said I was only going to talk for five minutes but... so thank you so much Gabby really excellent choice and thank you so much to Sean as well of Kittenish Behaviour for setting up the pattern swap and there's been background organisation from a guy called Charles so thank you so much to Charles for organising everything as well I'm really looking forward to seeing your make Gabby thank you so much for watching I'll see you next time bye